Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat, welcome back to a new video, and today we're going to be showing you guys some gameplay of the Hunting Rifle coming soon into Battle Royale. Now the Hunting Rifle has no scope, no problem, it's going to be absolutely awesome, and it's hopefully going to come into Battle Royale either tomorrow or the following week, we don't actually know the release date for it, but so far I believe the jetpack has been cancelled for Fortnite Battle Royale, well that's what we know so far, hopefully we may see it come in the future, maybe in a test game mode or something, so we can actually get to feel what it could have been like in Fortnite Battle Royale, obviously they've taken it out, maybe it was a bit overpowered, maybe it needed a little tweaking we'll have to see what epic games decide to do with the jetpack in future but let's get straight into the gameplay of the hunting rifle it's going to be absolutely insane i'm buzzing to show you guys this it's really cool hopefully we're going to see it being played in the meta it's going to have a bunch of bullets and it's going to be absolutely crazy so let's get into this here i have the hunting rifle i equip it on and i have it right now so it's got five bullets in the mag in save the world potentially it could have five or six bullets i assume possibly it's going to shoot medium bullets in battle royale hopefully and it hopefully will do about 90 damage maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less i can imagine it doing probably about 80 to 90 damage somewhere between 70 and 90 maybe 80 to 90 and in the head i could see it one shot in potentially if you don't have a shield it'll probably do about 136 roughly about the damage stats it's doing to these zombies in the head i can imagine it doing roughly the same on save the world so there we're getting three to uh, nine two it's not going to uh, i'm Battle Royale, sorry. It's not going to do 392, but we were getting about 140 in the head before, which would be decent, or just in the body. That's what I would probably do in the head, about 140 maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe it'll do... I don't know the exact stats, but I can assume it'll probably one shot because it's not a fast fire rate weapon at all. Now, the good thing about it is you can actually fire this weapon at a decent speed. It's about the same as the pump shotgun, and I'll show you guys some moments of that right now. So the hunting rifle itself is not going to include a scope, which is kind of annoying because you can't shoot it at range very well. However, it's going to be very powerful. It's probably going to be quite good up close, maybe medium range, like AR range. I can see it being played a lot by a lot of people, but personally, I don't think it's going to be in the meta. And the reason for that is because of the slow fire rate. Now, obviously, the stats and stuff can change for Save the World and, well, Save the World and Battle Royale. The stats can be completely different, as we saw with the hand cannon. It actually ended up having seven bullets in the hand cannon, which was really surprising. I never expected expected it to have seven like bullets in the mag it was really an odd number and it was pretty surprising so yeah it was interesting to see them do that with the hand cannon because obviously from save the world it was a mixture between two weapons it was a brand new weapon in save the world as well so which is, it's quite cool it's quite cool however the hunting rifle so far is possibly most likely going to be the exact weapon you can see on screen right now it's going to be really awesome to be added in i am actually switching to my shotgun and stuff in this gameplay just to kill off some of the zombies because i don't want to die there's many situations in this where i kind of just almost die and build a my way out now the building in save the world is a little bit clunky because they haven't added the building features in now i have a brand new building feature video coming out very soon which is going to show you guys how to build like a pro from the 3.0 update onwards so it's going to be really cool i'm really buzzing to bring that out for you guys it was actually going to come out today however i've delayed it because of this this is really important information that i want to bring out to you guys and i thought everybody should know about this because it's awesome and it is some early gameplay so you guys can get a preview of it before it drops i definitely think everybody should try it out it is going to be an awesome rifle and possibly could be in the meta. I don't know. I don't know. Now, comparing this rifle to other weapons, what other weapons do we have that are quite similar? Well, we have the free burst. That does roughly 72 damage if all three bullets hit. Potentially, that's what this could possibly do, around 72 damage. And in the head it could probably do a little bit more maybe like 90 odd or something maybe even 100 bang on 100 which would be really cool or maybe even 99 leaving them on one shot we don't know the exact stats of it and obviously i'm only predicting but i can imagine this weapon being very similar to the free burst because that's the sort of way it is now the free burst is kind of like a range kind of like a range weapon ish it's a pretty cool weapon but it's not the best weapon and not many people use it and i could see this kind of sitting in the same category of the free burst i don't see this being used at all in close quarters unless someone manages to like double pump it or something I don't know if someone's going to do that, but potentially they could. Obviously, we've got the semi-auto sniper, which is going to be still one of the most... It's not the best sniper, but it's up there between, like, obviously, I don't I don't know if you guys class the auto AR or the AR, the scoped AR, should I say, as a sniper, but personally, I class that as a sniper because it is a scope, or a scope weapon, should I say, and that, to me, is on par with the semi. It just depends on the situation. Obviously, the semi's better at range because the scope zooms in further. Another thing I want to comment on is the crosshair as well. You can actually see the crosshair on this is actually quite narrow when you zoom in, and personally, I do think it's going to be like that in Battle Royale. I can't imagine it being much spread at all. 
Due to it being more of a, like a scoped or a sniper, like a marksman rifle, I think it's definitely going to be the sort of weapon that we're going to see used at range. The sort of weapon that a lot of people are going to try out. At, like, you can see how the scope, like, kind of as I start to stand still, it goes really narrow. I can imagine that being the same concept. If you stand still, the scope goes really narrow. But if you're moving, or when I say scope, I mean crosshair. What The crosshair goes really narrow when you stand completely still. But obviously when you're moving around, the crosshair is quite big and it's just not as accurate. Now that's going to be really interesting and it's going to play a big vital part in Battle Royale because if you're stood still obviously you could get sniped from any distance. You can see how I'm moving around running away from these zombies. You can see how the crosshair is roughly quite big probably the same size as like a pistol or something in Battle Royale but when I start to stand still more the crosshair actually can go down near enough to nothing near enough what a sniper would be and that's what I could imagine happening. Another good question is will the bullets actually drop with this rifle? Now with the scoped AR the bullets don't drop but with the sniper rifles they do. Now potentially if this is going to be classed in the sniper, right to, uh, the sniper rifle category we could see this being like dropped in like the bullets and stuff and maybe even like the worst sniper if the bullets are dropping. However if the bullets aren't dropping or maybe the drop is at an even further range because obviously you're not going to be able to see very far of it so what's the point of putting a bullet drop in especially within console with the render distance and stuff like that we can definitely see maybe a bullet drop being added maybe it's probably like a 50 50 chance of it happening but we'll have to see it is going to be awesome to see the bullet drop actually being put into place so the bullet drop is going to be really cool i am really looking forward to it if it is in it or if it's not i hope it's not but if it is i want it to be at, like hardly any bullet drop and it may be at extreme ranges the bullet can drop slightly but even though with no scope, the bullet drop might be quite useful because obviously if there's no scope, the bullet drop, you can kind of get used to it with the sniper a lot easier. I do have a sniper guide video which goes over all the bullet drops for the snipers, which I do want you guys to check out if you haven't already. So do go and check that out on my channel. It's one of my best videos I've personally made and it teaches you guys how to snipe pretty much and like pretty much every single time you will be able to hit someone. So it is useful and I would definitely recommend watching it. But here in this situation now, I have to switch to my shotgun because the big mobs come into me and I'm like, uh oh, we gotta survive this. So we switched to my shotgun. I'm like spraying down the mob with my shotgun, pumping it back. There we are, taking him out and we take him out nicely. We get the reward, but unluckily I turn around the corner and I'm like, there's another one. And I'm like, uh oh, we gotta run, we gotta run. So we get a run for it and I'm like, I can't get out of here fast enough. So I throw a grenade and if you look at my health at the top left, I get absolutely smash so i'm like i can't use that hunt rifle the hunting rifle here because it only is a one level weapon on save the world and the way save the world works if you're using a one level weapon against like an 18 level mob you've basically got no chance so i have to switch to my 34 level weapon against this guy and this guy can actually go through walls so i'm kind of in a really pickle well in a big pickle here right now i'm on extremely low health and he's got me kind of trapped so i have to go for the head and i just managed to kill him on 800 health bear in mind 800 health is a lot in save the world obviously if you had that on battle royale you'd near enough be like a juggernaut but obviously Obviously in this you, you're not like a juggernaut so I used that and managed to take him out very easily and nicely done but I was very I was very nervous that I was actually going to die for this gameplay so I just managed to do it just in time and I, I did pretty well I did pretty well but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay with the actual rifle and I will put a little easter egg in there so you guys can comment it down below but if you haven't already do go over to my twitter at postbotspart and follow it I'm trying to get to 2,000 followers on there we're almost there I did plug it in one of my uh, recent videos at the start but I thought you know what we'll just leave it till later on in this video so you guys can go over there if you want it's up to you guys you can contact me over there I do love getting tweets from you guys and replying to as many as I can it probably is the best place to contact me because I can keep replying whereas if you contact me in the comment section I can only really reply once just the way YouTube comments work I can only search for comments that I haven't replied to and I've already replied to them then I have to go through all of the comments and it can take a long time to do and I have to like click on it a few times so the best thing for me is just for you guys to go over to there if you want to have like a conversation or something Film. If you're asking me to play with you on Battle Royale, currently I am really, really busy, so I won't be able to play with you guys on Battle Royale right now. But in the future, I hope to do some live streams and stuff with subscribers, which would be really awesome. So if you're asking me to play, uh, you can ask me on Twitter, but unfortunately, I probably won't get back to you if you are asking me to play Battle Royale because currently I am extremely busy. But other than that, if you've got any other questions relating to stuff like what I used to record or anything in general about me, feel free to ask me on my Twitter and we can have a little conversation about it because it, really, it is actually really awesome talking to you guys. I've had a few conversations over the past few days since I plugged my channel so it's really awesome and do go over there but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you are new around here stick around for some awesome Fortnite content because I do bring Fortnite content out daily and once again leave a like comment and subscribe and this is Postbots Pap signing out
second. If you've made it this far in the video comment down below save the world brackets hunting rifle 2.0 i don't know why i just thought you know what you may as well comment that down below little easter egg for you guys but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you guys later